What's going on guys? Josh Huggett back again. What's going on guys? Josh Huggett back again. New video. Brought the vegan battle wagon today because we are filming an abandoned pig farm. This is the one. I've always wanted to go to like an abandoned slaughterhouse. What's going on guys? Josh Huggett back again. New video. Brought the vegan battle wagon today because we are filming an abandoned pig farm. This is the one. I've always wanted to go to like an abandoned slaughterhouse, an abandoned farm, and we've done it. We found an abandoned pig farm. We're here. I can point out why everything you do is wrong and why vegans are morally superior and the superior race. Isn't that right, Reuben? <laughs> Alright, let's go. There's still bales of hay here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one's this one's all about the capture side of it. Rather, uh, I oh, think it has a little shit. bit about the editing, uh, but it's more about the capture, and it's classic cars like this sort of thing. Yeah. So that inside, the inside dash of that. So we've opened the door, Valiant. The key's still in the ignition. What? The key is still in the ignition. Jesus. Maybe it still runs. Maybe. It might just be a paddock basher. It hasn't been moved. Oh, I don't know. It's been a while, at least. The accelerator's stuck down. For extra speed. Breaking is for pussies. Side, this is where you hose out and this is where all the shit would be and some poor fucker would have had to have been in and under scooping it up and out all the time. Mm. Mm, Delightful. Yeah, nice old bottle. And you got these hoppers that are just either side that they'd fill with grain and then take down the tracks and, and just drop it in each of the pens. Oh, it smells nice in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of this. Is this safe to breathe in? Yeah, yeah, it's safe in here. Yeah, the, the asbestos on the roof hasn't been touched. So, yeah, this stuff is all matured and aged. So, welcome to inside the sow stall. So, this is where the pigs would have spent their entire lives uh, with the babies. This is actually rather large for, for what I've seen previously. You'd have your pigs in here. This is where, so the food, oh, it's over there. But the food comes on a runner down here and feed up the troughs. This is it. These are huge.
So you can see here just kind of the living conditions that the pigs would have been in. They would have spent their entire lives in here with their babies. So this is where the mum would live with the children until they are eventually stolen for food. Um, yeah, this is actually quite large compared to some of the pig farms that I've been in before. Um, now they keep them where they can't actually turn around. So this one's actually not too, you know, not the worst. Definitely not the worst pig farm I've ever been in. But no pig farm's a good pig farm. Oh. And here's where the grain would have come in. Right above me. Yeah. Feeding. Number four. So they had all this space. All this space here. That they keep the pigs in these sheds. Just over here. I guess this is where the grain would come in. Old buckets, metal buckets. The gas, yeah. Grain would come in here. Fill up your troughs or whatever. This would be where they'd push them out to slaughter, up the trail. Ooh. What? Oh, the spider webs. No. <laughs> There's like one, two, three of them. How do we do it, mate? Jack, I reckon this might be. Where they put the pig sets? No. No, it's probably where they kept the semen. Oh, oh actually, that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. The semen boy. The yeah. semen. Joshua. The yeah, semen yeah, for the impregnating yourselves. Yeah. Yep. It's empty, guys. section there would have been quite a few pigs kept in here so dark but all the pig shit's still in there
So I'm gonna go for a goosey down here. That's a goosey gander. Uh, they still use some of this place for storage, so there's still like tracks and more modern stuff here. Um, but most of it's abandoned. Something was here. Oh heck, what are they packaging? Oh, that's where they're packaging up the pig shit. Look, and you can see this is where they've been shoveling it into buckets. Quality fertilizer. There's an old Brumby here. Hasn't been moved in years. Look at this. That's something you don't see every day. Two real old scooters. And a pet carrier from Cheapest Chips. That Brumby's dope. This is the definition of a barn find, isn't it? Alright, we'll keep, keep walking, we'll go to the next one. So this is where they would have shoved about a hundred pigs in here, maybe more. Uh, and this is where, this is the closest that they get to living, like, free range free under these tents um, that's where they get all aggressive and fight each other because they're in such a confined space um, yeah it's not very nice all right we'll head over to this one here see what's in this one this one might also have some more modern stuff in it um, I don't know all abandoned though yeah this has got new stuff so the owner of this area still stores shit here evidently but oh that's a nice looking truck dodging an old dodge truck And this old lawnmower. Well, I don't actually think it's that old, but it's abandoned. All right, that pretty much does it for this abandoned pig farm. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Kind of a, a grim one, really, isn't it? Um, but yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. I'm Josh Huggett. I explore abandoned buildings around Adelaide and, well, anywhere I can go really. I'm walking up a hill. Take care of yourself. Think about your food choices. Peace. I also just realised that the t think about your food choices thing is really fitting. Because we're in a pig farm. Peace.